psychology poem. I don't know if any of you, well, some of you are too young to remember, and some of you left town before. But does anyone here remember vaguely the Love Canal? Sure. Okay, because, you know, I asked somebody the other day if they knew who uh, Henry Miller was, too, and I was sitting, and they fucking didn't know who Henry Miller was. I said, well, go to Veplis and have some hot chocolate, maybe that'll... What's, what's the Love Canal, Steve? Okay, okay the Love Canal. So the Love Canal was situated near Niagara Falls, yeah. and uh, maybe Jack can help because you know I'm an old man, so my memory failed me. But they had like a I huge, a they had a, like a huge piss surge of uh, bad contaminated water, and like everybody had to leave the Love Canal for interminable amount of time. And I think they still are not allowed to go back to the Love Canal, unlike Chernobyl, where they. The Russians don't really care, so you can go back. Like, it's been two weeks, you can go back. You know? I mean, like, I watch a lot of Japanese television in New York, and they're still, you know, very involved, and I don't blame them with the 2011 tsunami, and a lot of people can't go back. But, you know, America, Russia, like, oh, fuck, man, nuclear waste and shit. You just, it's okay, don't worry about it. Just go back tomorrow, go to the toilet, and... See what comes out. So, uh, so this is a really bad poem uh, called "Where Is the Love at the Love Canal." So that's the story. I mean, I haven't paid any attention about what's going on right now with the Love Canal, but I think most most people, and I think Jack might corroborate this or Stuart. I don't. Well, Stuart's been here for so long; he probably forgot what America is, even means. But um, well, like, I don't think people can still go back ever to the Love Canal. So it starts with a song by a great um, blues singer named Memphis Slim, which is called Mother Earth. But I'm a little drunk, and if I sing it, I'll probably fuck it up. So I'm going to talk it. You can hi-hat me all the time, and you may never go my way. Mother Earth is waiting for you. There's a debt you've got to pay. I don't care how rich you are. I don't care how much you've lived or how long, when it all comes down, you've got to go back to Mother Earth. Yeah, I guess they like rooms. Why am I suffering, she asks. Is it for something I've done in a past life? Well, I answer, perhaps it's for something you'll do in the future. Or something you won't do. Or perhaps it's so you'll need not suffer ever again. I was born of nothing, came from nothing, and remain nothing. The eye, a beam on de facto wall, where soil was an absolute interrogation, a museum of obsolescence, a prepared expression of the opening up of things, the dynamics of language and sound. What seems like a closed book is more like an explanation of logic. Lingual tap, tap, tapping. A haunted wind growling, howling as it approaches time's demise, referencing the slowly melting mountains, hastening its own nostalgia, whistling through the once factory streets the tearing of crow's wings like pulled apart utterances, the advent of acoustic electricity, rubbing two sounds together to create sounds, to free the incarcerated incantation and liberate the larynx. No merciless idea of sanctification sang the slick drowning man as he drowned in the slick he created. I, 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 said Walt Whitman, who, by the way, will be 200 in about less than three weeks. I, 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 I sing the song of creation, born of nothing, returning to no no nothing. Confusion in fusion, where the floor ends and the ceiling begins, where one climate is supplanted by another, a heaviness of throats within the mortar of things, 
the brick and metal walls that shared such different lives, and now we mutations still through the chemicals in so many different guises, so many different voices in search, in search of nothing less than ourselves. Beginning in nothing, arriving in nothing, begat of nothing, pursued by nothing, a world within a suitcase, within a trunk of earth. A trunk composed of ashes and limbs and paper and plastic and oil and fire and ice. The painted relics shudder like mirrors, shuttered like windows, punctured like memories reproduced, replicas of deceased things, deceased. Vanishing language, vanishing species, endangered cities, vanishing <laughs> concepts, impermanent birthdays. Where is the earth when we need it the most? What has the world turned into? Whatever happened to the rainforest, to acid rain, AIDS, tolerance? The 10,000 things are all things. The clouds, an ageless jawbone. What does a whole earth mean? What tools are left in our catalog? The silly part now comes, we are the world, we are the children, we are the world, we are the children. We are, we are, we are, we are. They sang and they sang and they sang and they sang. We are the world. We are the children. And they sang and they sang and they sang before their artificial joy consumed them. Blue Lake, Green Lake, White Lake, mountains extinct, birds extinct, distinct markings gone. Song of the bird trapped in a wind, in a wind-up box. Trees, volcanoes, sea. We were not always this. We were not always land creatures. Mother Earth, Mother Earth, Mother Earth. Earth. We were not always this. We were not always land creatures. Mother Earth, mother fucked. We belong to everything. We belong to everything, and we belong to nothing. Yet we think everything, we think every fucking thing belongs to us. We call on the elements to perform. Blue water, white water, dark water, deep water, calm water, rough water, dark water, deep water, calm water, rough water, mist, mist, mist is settling on the mountains of my eyes. I am a corporation. I, I am a corporation. I incorporate all things I encapsulate, all things. I am one selfish son of a mother. A mother, mother, earth mother, earth mother, mother. You may have a million dollars. You may drive a Cadillac. You may have enough money to buy anything you like. I don't care how rich you are, and I don't care what you're worth. When it all comes down, you got to go back, go back to Mother Earth. I am a corporation. I incorporate all beings, all elements, all time, all travel through me. Blue Lake, Green Lake, White Lake, whatever happened to global unity? The loss of love and the love canal, the distortion of religion and the true human being. The blankness of the mother. Who is the mother of us all? Who is the mother of us all? The jubilant retriever of salamander and mud of color. The all, the all, the all of color. And color is the all, the all, the all. A vessel of color, a chamber of blood. Earth's blood, a burst of lava and oil from an unsettled lung, the last bit of ice on the first spring day. Who are we? We are this, and to this we belong to this, the song and the blood and the fire, the source to resource, the source to be source. And there is no love in the love canal, yet we still sing it. This is a song to, to the source, which is space. This is 
the source and the song to the air, to retrieval, to cleanliness, to filth, to reality, to reality, to the reality we cannot escape. Who are we? We are those who cannot fight our own wars, so we have other people fight them for us. And we cannot escape. We cannot escape the fact that no matter how hard we try not to partake in these crimes, we, we are guilty by association with this maniac machine. We are breathing harmoniums. We need too much to live. We are all part of the problem. We are all part of the solution. We are flower and foul. We are spoiled American dream spread across the world like smoke, like fog, like oil, like love, like need, like want. The expansive acceptance of suffocation, the blindness of a million dollar beggar, the compassionate and compassion of a big rig operator, the distorted concept of survival and death, omnipotent, omnipotent death, though death is only a part of life. Looking only at now while pretending to protect the protect them. Looking only at now while pretending to protect the future. The future. The future. We are broken keys, changing locks. There is just so much carpeting, so much padding we can pad our planet with. So much tonnage this island can take, so much seasoning, so much the sea can hold. We move so fast with our tragic sophistication. We, we, we accumulate so much broken keys in the way of making our way from nothing for nothing to nothing. Is it too late to bind the wounds? Is it too late to live for tomorrow today? Is it too late to live for others even for just a small amount of time? Is it too late for true symbiosis? Wild animals always shooting otherwise.